Before Lori Harvey would date some of the biggest names in hip hop and R&B, including Sean Puffy Combs, Future, and Trey Songz. Before Lori Harvey would be mentioned in a couple rap songs by Meek Mill and Future alike, one naming Lori Harvey as an item on his Christmas wish list, and the other saying, give me glory, give me Lori, that's victory. Before Lori Harvey would appear in her good friend Normani's music video for Motivation. Before Lori Harvey bagged people's sexiest men in the world, Michael B. Jordan. Before Lori Harvey would have over 2.9 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. Lori Harvey, an accomplished model and former equestrian, daughter of Steve and Marjorie Harvey, grew up in the limelight for the most part, but now she's made her way into the spotlight with her killer good looks, down to earth personality, and new title of Queen of Dating. How did Lori Harvey get famous though? Keep watching. What's going on guys, it's your girl Azalea Hart, back with another video on Before They Were Famous, documenting the life of Lori Harvey prior to fame. We've covered the stories of some other bomb ass women like Ari Lennox and so many more, so check out the suggested videos after you watch this one. Also comment down in the section below and let me know who do you want me to document next. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Before They Were Famous and me at Azalea Zoe and I'll see you after the intro. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Lori Harvey was born in Memphis, Tennessee on January 13th, 1997. She was raised in both Chicago and Atlanta, and she and her siblings were homeschooled by her mother after Marjorie pulled them out of school when Lori was just in seventh grade. She told BET, Honestly, I was like, I want to stay in school. Best decision that my mom ever made for me, though. I'm so glad she did it. She got us some tutors, and we just did it like that. I honestly think I learned a lot faster that way, too. So I technically could have graduated when I was 16, but my mom didn't want me to go to college that early. So I just dragged the last two years out until I finished. She had a pretty normal childhood otherwise, mainly because it was her parents' focus to keep her and her siblings out of the spotlight and out from under a microscope, since her stepfather is a pretty well-known celebrity, Steve Harvey. Lori's mother, Marjorie, met Steve in Memphis at a comedy club. So I came with my girlfriend. I was late. I thought he was going to give me the business because he got real quiet and he was just staring at me. So he stopped the show and he just kept staring at me. So basically Steve was just stunned by her beauty as many men are by Lori's beauty right now. He stopped his entire show as she walked in late with her girlfriend. They had front row seats so once they sat down he said, I don't know who you are but I'm gonna marry you one day. I mean I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> Marjorie Harvey is an American socialite, fashion icon, blogger, and internet personality. Reports online state that Lori's biological father is a man named Donnell Woods, who may or may not have been incarcerated a couple times due to selling or buying drugs, but listen, I don't want to throw around random hearsay, but the fact is, after Marjorie split from Lori's biological father, she married Steve Harvey in 2007, and Steve adopted Lori and her siblings Morgan and Jason, which is why they now carry Steve's last name. Lori has three brothers, one is biological, Jason as I mentioned, and two stepbrothers, Broderick and Winton, and one biological sister, Morgan, and two stepsisters, Brandy and Carly. Lori's mother, Marjorie, and Steve have no children together, but they raised all seven children together. Lori's first job came at the age of three years old when she modeled for a store called Cottontail in a little shopping center in her hometown. The ad was released and printed in their town newspaper, and I bet her nor her family would know the fame and life of modeling that was waiting for her. Lori grew up with her brother, so naturally considered herself a tomboy. She would often watch wrestling, she liked Pokemon. Her mom even wanted to send her to charm school because she acted like too much of one of the guys. She started attending fashion shows in Paris at the age of 11 with her mother and fell in love with the runway. Marjorie actually used to walk for Dolce & Gabbana as well and Lori described her mom's closet like living in a mall and even after years and years of being in it, she's in awe every time. So when she was around 13 years old, she started getting more and more interested in makeup and beauty, watching her mother get ready for events. She would often sit and watch her mom get dolled up and would become very inquisitive, asking the makeup artist so many questions so that she could later go and recreate the look in her bathroom on her own. The world was also introduced to young Lori on the Steve Harvey reality TV show from 2014 to 2017. Last but not least, the most important thing I packed were definitely the pictures of my family. And okay, I'm ready. Before following the path of a career in beauty and modeling, Lori's focus was horseback riding. She was on the fast track to Olympics and even gained acceptance into every college she applied to. She then moved from Atlanta to Florida to continue her education and the school she chose was in line with supporting her riding career. Well, I was one of 31 riders who qualified earlier this year. Um, there was a total of 15 jumping obstacles and I finished on top with a score of 85 out of 100. 
She told Vogue, I wanted to be a professional equestrian, but I got injured badly a few years ago, so now I only ride leisurely. Her career consisted of show jumping and competitive riding. Her plan was to go to the Olympics, but when she was 18, she got into a really bad accident. As I mentioned, she tore her ACL and broke her lower back, and that ended her riding career. But she was able to fall back to her plan B, modeling. However, she did think that when she was healed, she would be able to return to her equestrian dreams, but her doctors warned her that if she did, it would be a major risk. Her choices were to go back and compete and risk falling, and this time not getting back up, or try something else. She quickly lost interest in school since riding was no longer a major part of it, and she eventually returned home to Atlanta and finished her studies through online classes. By 20 years old, Lori was modeling on runways from major designer houses such as Dolce & Gabbana. At the time, she told BET that she's not a traditional model, which is true, standing at 5 foot 3 inches tall. She said, I feel like it's opening up a door for a new generation of models that look more like me versus being 5 foot 10 and super skinny, with a super flat stomach and super skinny legs like everything looks so perfect. So it's cool that I don't have to be a size double zero. I mean, it's definitely cool to not be a size double zero, Lori, but there definitely ain't no one out there that looks like you, sis. <laughs> Getting more in depth in her interview, Lori went on to say how grateful she was for the opportunity and that Dolce and Gabbana have asked her to come back several times to model for them, even though she feels that she isn't made to walk runway or a high fashion runway at that. Let's now get into Lori's dating life. This is why you guys are here, I know it. She wasn't allowed to date until she was 18 years old and her mom had a list of men she was not allowed to date. Okay, no athletes, <laughs> no rappers. <laughs> We're gonna go down the list. When it comes to dating, my mom has nothing to worry about. I got this. I mean, whew, Marjorie maybe shouldn't have gone down that list because Lori's only been dating athletes and rappers. <laughs> Two years after that interview was actually made, our girl Lori was engaged to Dutch professional soccer player Memphis Depay. He was living in England at the time, but he had his sights set on Lori for a year before she finally gave in to his advances. The way she tells it, he called her for a year straight with her ignoring his calls. He would send flowers and she would simply say thank you until one day she finally did pick up the phone and they talked for hours. Then they started talking every day. Eventually, he invited her to visit him in Manchester and Lori's parents declined the offer on her behalf. But as all rebellious daughters do, she went anyway. Steve Harvey and this dude even had some words, but apparently he was very respectful. Lori had even planned to uproot her entire life to move to Lyon, France to be with him while he played soccer for Lion Club. So she was gonna move away from her close-knit family and she's the youngest daughter, so that would have been really hard on her parents knowing their daughter's moving to Europe. I mean, these were issues in the moment because as we know, it never happened. Steve eventually warmed up to the guy though because he was the one to announce the engagement news on his Twitter account. Anyway, the two broke off the engagement in 2018 and Memphis even released a song called No Love, which is rumored to be about Lori. Towards the end of 2018, Lori began dating Trey Songs, which was short-lived. She was then spotted making out with fine race car driver Lewis Hamilton. Then it was reported that she was seeing Justin Combs, son of Sean Puffy Combs, and then romance rumors between Sean Combs and Lori started circling. That was also short-lived. In 2019, many were shocked when they saw that good girl Lori was wrapped up with bad boy Future. The two were together for about eight months and they were both posting each other on Instagram accounts. That was pretty official as we all saw her big B-Day celebration in Jamaica last year. Things sizzled out, which is probably for the best. I mean, Future has several children from several different baby moms, so. But anyways, now she has landed on people's sexiest man alive, Michael B. Jordan. Lori Harvey is the undisputed dating champion of the world, for sure. Now the question stands, ladies, would you rather have Sierra's prayer or Lori's finesse? Comment down below, and before you woman haters say anything, Lori Harvey is in her early 20s, and she's doing what anyone in their early 20s would do, which is date. She just happens to be doing it in the public eye with very well-known men, so what do y'all want? I think this is a good place to end this video. After all, this is before they were famous, and we went deep into after she was already famous and her dating life, but it's just too good to pass up. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video, and are you here for Lori and Michael B. Jordan? I am. Let me know who you want to see in a video next, and remember to follow us on Instagram at me, at Azalea Zoe, and vote for their famous, and I will see you in the next video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you, because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists, like, over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications. And I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!